So I put this slide and this is coming from our digital um, team. So we, we actually have a separate team just focusing on digital transformation for Kirchhoff in general. Yeah, and at least what I know, there are tons of companies having like maybe a hub, like a digital hub where they go to, you know, the Silicon Valley or Berlin, it is for us in Germany, yeah, to be close to the startups, to know the scene, to know what's going on. So we decided to set that department up internally. It's just a super small department. We have three people, same like our department in corporate, and they make sure that is the digital transformation roadmap they put down for us as a company uh, across all functional areas. Now, obviously, all functional areas are responsible to drive digitization for their respective department, yeah, and also in the plants. Um, so what you see here is the different steps, and uh, Julie, you can click one by one. So if you, first of all, obviously, you need data, you need data transparency and the availability of data before, in the second step, you actually can use the data in order to decide, okay, do I need a system in place, yeah, to move away from paper or to analyze the data, um, and already those one, uh, one and two, if I take that from an HR perspective, are super interesting because at least our experiences, our HR system is a good example. Yeah, If the data is not accurate, yeah, then you get issues in the system. So that's this shit in, shit out thing. Yeah, So it's a real thing, at least for us. So we often have to go back and work with our locations to ensure the data quality in our global HR system because otherwise if we pull a report globally, it's messed up Yeah, because the data is maybe not correct or a process that we run like a succession management process or talent management process people won't show up if the field talent is for example not filled in so it's these little things but it's super important to understand at least for me the next steps if we take this from an hr perspective you know um, and so predictive systems um, i would say we are almost in some areas on step three and four not so much four is more the future in our, um, in our um, environment, so in the automotive industry, it's super important, step three, to work towards predictive maintenance systems, yeah? Because we need to reduce downtime to be able to produce parts that go out, yeah? So that's, for example, with respect to digitization, an important aspect. 